Hi, I'm Wayne Howard from Inspiring Excellence and welcome back to my video blog. Or uh, come to think of it, if you didn't watch the first one, uh, welcome. In the first uh, video blog, uh, which as you can tell even from the start of this, was completely unscripted. Uh, my first video blog I talked about uh, your natural reply to when people ask how are you uh, and, and what's your, your, your habit in replying. And we talked about giving you, re, re, thinking about the opportunity of reflecting on it and maybe just upping it a little bit and being enthusiastic and keen and, and uh, if, you, if life's good then show it's good. Um, because the, if you feel great you're more than likely uh, to behave in a great way. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with showing that enthusiasm and that energy. Because that enthusiasm and energy is infectious. Do you get what I mean? Um, as a family member, if I'm if I'm happy, enthusiastic, keen on doing stuff, problem solving, it's more than likely that people who surround me will get a, a bit of that uh, infectious feeling. Uh, so when you start the conversation, well, it's more than likely to lead on to something else, because the brain, as I said in the first blog, wants to make a frame of reference. So you say, "How are you?" and you reply, or You've just come back off your holidays, and someone says, "Oh, what, what was your holiday like?" Uh, I heard people say, "Oh, it rained. It rained. Yeah. I, I went. Uh, it was too hot. It was too hot on my holidays." And I said, "Well, you went to Greece in August, so it's going to be hot. But did you have a nice time?" Uh, because once someone recounts something that's negative, your brain will search in its memory bank for something similar. It's quite natural to do that. Um, so this can very easily create a negative spiral. So someone talks about a bad holiday, then you talk about your bad holiday experience. A bad meal at a restaurant, you talk about a bad meal at a restaurant. Uh, it's not rocket science, this, is it, guys? Uh, so uh, people who aren't feeling so well, uh, you can bet your life I've worked a lot in organisations and there's always kind of the, the hypochondriac of the group. And so on, someone in the group said, oh, uh, how are you? And they said, oh, I've got a, I don't know, I'm, make, I'm making this up now. Oh, I've got a boil on my bum. Sorry for the language there, uh, people. I've got a boil on my bum. You know, there'll be someone in the group who says, oh, I've got two. <laughs> and uh, that's life. So if you get the opportunity to be involved in conversations, try and start off on a good note, turn any bad stuff around, just look for the positive in things, in, in people, uh, to stop that negative downward spiral that happens in our organisations and groups. That's you know when cynicism takes hold. So I just want you to reflect for the day on what kind of uh, infections are you spreading, and metaphorically speaking, of course. But what kind of infectious behaviour are you spreading? And feelings and emotions. Uh, and having watched this blog, you listen out, you watch other people in these conversations, and maybe you'll start to recognise this stuff a bit more. And certainly, if you keep coming back and visiting me, I'll keep giving my this odd pearl of wisdom to uh, help you get through a great day. Uh, so, thanks for tuning in. As I said previously, thanks for tuning in and. Uh, Maybe meet you again soon. I'd love to hear any feedback you've got about these little blogs. Uh, anything constructive, if it can't be positive, would be most welcome. So thanks very much. Bye.